Now in this video, we're going to create another rule that will notify the author of the comment when their comment gets a reply. And we'll also add a condition that prevents it from sending an email if the user who replied to the comment is also the author of the original comment. We'll do this in the same way. We'll go ahead and log in as the administrator user. Go to Configuration, Workflow, Rules. Now you can see our rule that we created recently. I'm going to go ahead and click Add a New Rule. This one will be Comment, Reply, Notification. And we're going to react on the event after saving a new comment, just like before. Then we're going to go ahead and add our condition. We're going to do a data comparison again. The first data selector will be the comment author equals comment parent author. So this is the parent comment that the current comment is being posted as a reply to. A little confusing, but it makes sense. And then again, negate to make sure that our rule only fires when these are not the same. So go ahead and click save. Then we'll add our action. Again, it's going to be send mail. For the to value, we'll switch to the data selection and choose comment parent author mail because we're going to send this to the email address of the author of the parent comment. Our subject will be reply to, we'll find the title of the parent node, which will be comment parent. And then our message will be view the complete topic at find our comment URL posted by comment name again the name of the comment author title comment title and then our body and we'll find the comment body and the from I'm going to leave empty this time and that'll just use the site-wide configured address so we'll just click save and now let's go ahead and try this out. Go ahead and go back to our home page and find our sample article. First thing we're going to do is reply to our own comment. We'll click save. And there's no email sent. So that's perfect. Let's log out now and log back in as Chelsea. And I have her reply to that comment. And hit save. Now let's check our email. There's actually been two emails sent because of our two rules. So the first is the original rule that we sent. This was to the node author. And the next is our reply to sample comment, which is from the site-wide email address to me. Posted by Chelsea, and you have everything here. Finally, I want to show you one last thing. I'm going to log back in as Brian and show you that when I reply to Chelsea's comment, she should get an email. So 
So we'll go ahead and click save. And check out email. And now we can see that this was sent to Chelsea from the site wide email address. And it says it's posted by Brian, etc. And this time we don't have a second one because I, being Brian, was also the node author, so that original rule did not fire. So that's how you can notify users when their comments are commented on.